Welcome to the IFRS Health Education videos. Today we are going to talk about uh, investigations for urology and rural areas. Why are we going to talk about it? Because a uh, lot of people think that urology is a specialty which is very expensive. The investigations are expensive, treatment is expensive, everything is expensive. But that's not true. There are a lot of things which are possible in rural areas. Why do you need to do that? Because uh, almost 6% of any OPD in rural areas will have patients with urology problems. And uh, half of them can very effectively be treated with the simple things. So now we're going to look at what are the investigations which are available in rural areas and how much they'll help. The first investigation is just to observe how a patient is passing urine. We can train the nurses to do that because this will give a lot of uh, information about uh, what the patient has. In fact, if there's obstruction, there'll be hesitancy. We can see how the urinary stream is. We can uh, see if there is any blood in it and uh, whether they need to strain while passing urine and what happens to the urinary stream and they strain. And then uh, simple urine analysis or looking at the urine in the microscope can again give a lot of uh, information about the pathology, whether there is blood cells, whether there is pus cells, whether there is bacteria and uh, sometimes uh, even if there is a cancer in the urinary tract, this examination can uh, tell you. And of course, we do have some lab tests. These are primarily done to find out if there is any infection in the body or systemic infection and how the kidney functions are. And uh, in case of stone disease, whether there's anything we can do to treat the infection. And then uh, X-ray is an investigation. If uh, properly assessed, can give you a lot of information, especially about uh, the kidney shadow, the size, if there any stone in the urinary tract. But uh, we need a good X-ray technician to take a X-ray, which will give a lot of information. Then if the uh, X-ray is not available, Ultrasound is a good enough investigation, which can tell whether there's any hydronephrosis or swelling of the kidney, whether there's any stones, and uh, whether you need uh, what type of treatment, depending on the finding. And then uh, we come to the interesting investigation called uh, bladder pressure studies, a systematogram. This is carried out in uh, urban areas and big hospitals with expensive equipment, but you don't need it. Even with the simple uh, manometers with, made with IV tubings and uh, having the look at, looking at the levels, it's possible to find out the pressures inside the bladder. And this can give a lot of information of evaluation of the symptoms. Then finally, the most uh, important investigation is what we call cystoscopy and urethroscopy. Urethroscopy is looking into the urethra and cystoscopy is looking into the bladder. These can give uh, information like whether there is any strictures, whether there's any tumors, whether there's any stones, whether there's a diverticulum, whether there's tuberculosis. So a lot of information can be obtained with this simple procedure called the uh, cystoscopy, which is having a look inside the bladder. But unfortunately, the setup which we need for looking into the bladder is quite expensive. And that is the reason that uh, we have devised a new device called laptop cystoscope, which is a very low cost investment, which any doctor can easily afford so that uh, they can make the right diagnosis. And almost half of these can be very easily treated in rural areas itself. So hereafter, you don't need to go to an urban center or a big urology center for treatment. 
these available even in rural areas. Thank you. So present it with the blood and the urine. If you look at the ultrasound, here is a huge uh, bladder tumor in the posterior wall of the bladder. Here we see this is a bladder tumor. It's quite a large tumor. So what we'll do is we'll take few chips for biopsy and then we'll wait for it.